Hello, Terracon4 here, and I'm making an updated 2D radar project uh, implementation video. Since the last one was kind of old, had not as good recording software, and faced other issues. So to start out with, main content, we've got a blank third-person uh, project, and we've added the 2D radar project into it from the marketplace. So pretty much just go down here search 2d in your vault here's the thing add to project and in my case it's this blank uh version 25 2d radar project so click don't add in my case since i've already added it but that's pretty much the basics just get it into your project and now we're gonna do a basic example of adding it to this third person character so, third-person character, what do we need? First thing we need is our source actor. So, child actor, we'll add the child actor. Now we're going to go here and set the child actor class to 2D Radar BP. With this, we have an actor that's going to be responsible for being the source of our radar. It's currently located right on his pelvis. It's pointing forward, as you can see, with that red arrow. Here we have race options and stuff that we can see over here. The ones that we'd be most interested in are the return options and some of the scanning and other options. Return options include things such as the keyword and the widget that would show up for that keyword. So the default is searches for actors that have the tag sonar on them. Right now we're going to leave everything as it is default. And to start with, we're going to add a widget now for actually seeing stuff. A widget component is a scene component that can let us project a widget onto it. So we'll open the widget class and 2D radar widget. We'll rotate this around so we can see it. Scale this down a little and put off slightly the side of our character. And with this, we can see this in a world space. You might put this on the dash of a vehicle, maybe on your character's wrist or something, whatever, but we just need this widget to use stuff in a world space. We've now set it to use the widget class 2D radar widget. Now it's worth saying, you can't see it from the back. Uh, there are different types of options you have for the material that you use. Uh, if you want to see these, you will have to have show engine content enabled. Uh, you could use the masked one so that you can sort of see from the back, but the actual material itself doesn't reliably work on the back, so just be warned. Either way, this is the basics of this widget component. And with this, we've got everything we need added in. Now we go to the event graph and set up a event, begin play. Or you could just add this in using like a sequence or something onto your existing begin play chain. But we will wish to take our child actor and our widget. Get widget. Uh, yeah, pretty sure that was it. And for the child actor, we need to do a get child actor since this is a component that will create the uh, widget, in this case, the 2D radar blueprint. So this here will actually reference the blueprint itself. So from here, we will set the radar source actor. So set 2D radar source actor. We'll send this to the target, being the widget that that widget component's creating. And the source actor is going to be our radar So set this up, and with that, our character now has, as you can see, a little radar. Nothing to see. We'll take this cube over here and go to uh, the so cube mesh, and then we'll type in tag. Actors have tags as one of their default properties, and we'll add sonar. Or, correction, what was that one? Yeah, sonar. So with this, you'll notice that we start seeing it showing up there on that return.
Now, this is the basics that you need in order to add this. We could also add it to our uh, in a user interface by create widget, 2D radar widget, the source actor would be this child actor, owning player, we need to set our current player controller, and we'll just leave everything else default, add to viewport. And with this, you can now see in screen space, we also have a widget. Now, normally you would want to uh, go and create a widget using right click, user interface, widget blueprint. And then we could go up here and put 2D radar widget. And let's give it an anchor for the upper right and place it up around here because let's just say we want it yeah in the upper right so that'll be good enough in this case now we'll go over here take to the uh, graph section grab the radar widget get to the radar widget now we're gonna take this and set to the radar source actor message and event construct basically the equivalent of a begin play for widgets. Source actor, we'll just create a variable and call this radar source. And we're gonna make this instance editable and exposed on spawn. Now, this could be your overall widget where you've also got your health bar and everything else. Right now, we've only got this. Now we go back to our third person character and we can change this from that over to the example. Exactmol. I misspelled that, but oh well. Widget. Uh, Alt, left click will remove those bad links. So we're still going to need to make sure that it references this. So we've got the radar source as that custom variable we made. It'll be still referencing now this. So with this, now we have it properly in the upper right corner of our screen, and it stays up there regardless of what size our. Uh, screen becomes unlike if you just randomly add to viewport the other way it'll be a bit of a problem so this is the basic example of how you would add this to an actor now as a quick example let's take this and holding alt i'm going to drag and create a new one sonar the tag i'm going to set the sonar l so we've now got two objects sonar and sonar l they've got actor tags now we're going to go to our third person character Go to that child actor that has our uh, 2D radar blueprint in it, and we're going to go down to the uh, return options, and we're going to create a new return and call this sonar L. So this is, we'll search for that tag, and now we're going to create a new return widget, in this case, large return widget. So you could custom create in the Here's the folder location. This is where I've just got the example widgets by default, but you can create your own. It's pretty much the same thing, just a slightly different size from the normal widget, which is smaller. So this being the case, we are simply creating with the sonar L or number one is now matched to sonar return one. And we shall expand and add each of these. We want the same overall behaviors for each of them. Or we'll maybe say this one fades out over a slightly longer period of time. And with this, we've now got two separate types of returns showing up. So this is the most basics that you really have. Now we'll go back to content, 2D radar sonar, maps, and go here. And we'll click play, and the project is by default going to bring in this third person character that we've been working on. So here we can see him looking at all these other targets that we've got set up in this test environment. And he works there in this map, and he'll work in any map as long as there's local actors that have the sonar and sonar L tags on them. 
if you wish to uh, bring things over more quickly, we'll go back to our third person, blueprint character. We'll just delete these and go back to a blank slate. So starting from scratch, now we're going to say we want this particular widget or this one. This one was the full sonar display. So we'll edit open. So full radar demo blueprint. Let's say that, yeah, we want this one. So a quick way to implement stuff is just copy. We'll take these two controls, or sorry, we'll take these two widget and the radar actor, which is just the uh, child actor component. Control C. Now we'll go back to our character. Control V. We don't want either of those necessarily above the others. We're going to take both of these, set them to 0, 0 location and 0, 0 rotation. So they're down at the pelvis. Now the widget, we're going to, for our character, move up here and rotate back so we can see it. And with that, we've copied these over. Now we'd go over to the event graph and just say we want this area from the begin play. And now we'll go back to our third person character and copy this over here. And with this, quick and simple copying and pasting, we've added this here. So you can copy and paste stuff pretty quickly and easily. Uh, but you can, as you saw at the beginning of the video, add them from scratch fairly quickly as well. You'll notice that in this particular one, we've also got an update 2D radar image, which is what sets it to use the 360 display in the widget here for the 2D radar widget. So hopefully this has been a slightly more comprehensive and more updated uh, tutorial on how to use the 2D radar product package. I'm not sure exactly what to call these. Either way, hopefully this has been useful. And with recording software, picking up things like right-clicking menus, it'll be a bit easier to follow for everybody. So uh, stay healthy. Hope you have a good productive day. Until next time, Terracon Force signing out.